Hello again, YouTubers. Dave out in Western PA, USA. And uh, I have up my videos. I do uh, aluminum air battery work research at school. I'm a chemistry professor. And uh, right now, I have been focusing on preparing the graphite electrodes. And they are coated with a paste. I uploaded a video on it. There's the paste. It's 24 hours now. And that paste is uh, prepared from either activated carbon or decolorized carbon. Here's uh, the batch I used of decolorizing from wards. I just happen to have it in the stock room there. And uh, ma manganese dioxide, you can scrape it out of a lantern battery. You know the six volt, four by one and a half, the dry cells. Manganese dioxide. Well, I started with mineral oil, but I found that I do very well with this Mission Automotive and uh, it's a silicone paste. It's a uh, polydimethyl siloxane and uh, you make sure you wear gloves with this but you take some of that paste and blend it with the manganese dioxide and carbon. You blend it up and it coats beautifully on graphite electrodes. I was very happy with that. With gloves on you can basically fashion it right around the graphite electrode uniformly coat it and it holds up beautifully. Now the next thing, I'm working with gel electrolytes uh, which will be saturated with aluminum chloride. I'm trying to get away from sodium hydroxide. I'll sacrifice voltage. In fact with some of the uh, uh, videos I uploaded uh, a freshly prepared uh, battery today I hit 1.42 volts and it's all a question of securing the casing and the graphite electrode and making sure they don't contact the short. Well, anyway, I'm making gel electrolytes, and uh, I'm, I have a video uploaded. Let me go over to the laboratory oven, and uh, this is polyvinyl alcohol. Let me grab it out of there. A little bit uh, hot. You become less sensitive to heat, I notice, with age after working in the lab for so many years. But anyway, what you see in this pan is a 10% solution of polyvinyl alcohol with a high level of hyd hydrolysis. It's a very little polyester. It's about 98-99% hydrolyzed. So polyvinyl alcohol, 10% uh, solution with 28 milliliters of 37% formaldehyde cross-linking agent. Now, in the future, I'll substitute glutaraldehyde for that toxic uh, formaldehyde. And this is out of a patent issued to the United States government from about 1975. They had a different application. But I like the idea of the electrolyte, the gel electrolyte. And what I will be doing is replacing the water in this with uh, polyethylene glycol so it doesn't evaporate because the gel will harden. It's useless. So I'm going to have the harmless poly, uh, uh, propylene, I'm sorry, propylene glycol. Uh, instead of water. I'll upload a video and urea will get the formaldehyde out that's excess. Now this is about three hours that this clear gel has been in the oven and what I did was I took the graphite electrode here which had the graphite and manganese dioxide coating and the uh, silicone paste. I dipped it cleanly into this gel. No crumbling. That little spot down at the bottom was in the pan and I dipped it right in the bath the gel bath, but then I also put some in a glass dish and with a paintbrush with gloves on I went back over it and coated, coated the electrode with the gel. So that gel is already cooling and becoming more viscous, but it coats that beautifully. So I think a very thin piece of paper or dialysis tubing around that and that uh, electrode is going to be very well insulated from the aluminum casing. You may want to try your hand at this and as I said uh, when the water evaporates from this you're going to get a very hard coating and I don't necessarily want that but I think when I substitute the propylene glycol for water I think that gel is going to permanently remain a gel and I'm going to be able to coat that electrode, put a couple of washers around it, and then center it in an aluminum case which will have the gel electrolyte.
So anyway, hopefully some ideas for you. Thank you for watching my videos. I'll keep you posted. I enjoy putting some of my work out on the internet for others to uh, uh, comment on. And maybe you'll think of ways to go with this. Thanks a lot. Bye for now.